for dates. I would be the target and then all of the moms <laughs> turn on each other. One going home outfit. Extra safety. All right, whatever you want, baby. If she were to come tomorrow, we have literally everything cleaned. Did you just say a name? Gentlemen, she said six feet was enough, but we all know size matters. Oh my God. <laughs> Big day. <laughs> oh yeah, game time. What did you want to do this morning, Lily? Oh, well, aside from getting coffee. Yeah, we need coffee. I'm going to sell this thing. <laughs> Glad to see Hippo's not under the couch. She had a rough morning. Rough morning. She got snuggles with mom. She did, but she oh. was confused. She had a hairball. Oh, there's a really good hairball. Yeah. I did not see that. I thought it, you were looking at like the little poopies that like fell off her butt. Mm -hmm. Just the life of cats, you guys. <laughs> Just the life of cats. Jack, I literally saw a TikTok last night. This mom was explaining how like she had just had the worst day like with the kids. She looked like like her hair was everywhere. She, she, had, she had been through one? Yeah. The mom literally was like, my husband just looked at me and said, I'm gonna go get you wine. And I looked at him and said, don't leave me. <laughs> and he goes, I will be away for 10 minutes top. As soon as the husband left, their toddler ripped off their diaper and pooped on the floor. Just took a massive tooth on the floor. And she goes, no, 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 no. And he waddled forward and just pooped again. And then he took, oh. no, he took his hand and <laughs> And went like this. <laughs> and the husband comes back literally less than 10 minutes later. He's like, what happened? Like, how did this happen? So yeah, the cats pooping on the carpet or just leaving their little turds. That's the least of our worries, baby. I asked Jack if uh, we needed to go get breakfast or anything before he installs this. He goes, no, I watched three videos. <laughs> This is where we do say we will be taking this to the police station. We're just putting it in the car and like clipping it in for now. I have no ego with this. It's such a good idea if the police can like look at it. It's so intense. I know. I'm like, so excited. 20 billion buckles. I know. You did it. That's all that that's all there is to it. All the Facebook moms are like screaming right now. You don't want to actually click these all in. No, it's yeah. Because what's gonna happen is it'll constrict the baby to death if we actually get in a car. You want these a little loose so oh. they have room to expand. <laughs> they made a cartilage anyway. Who wants to see Jack get just like completely like let loose in a Facebook mom group? It would be pointless because they literally- I just want to let him in and well, like see what- I wouldn't say anything and then what would happen is like all- I would be the target and then all of the moms would turn on each other. <laughs> As like it swirls into this hurricane of like, no, that's fucking wrong, Jamessa. Like, no, Karen. Like, this is how it is. And like, Stephanie is gonna come along and she's gonna be like, actually, you just got the wrong car seat on together. Jamessa? Is I don't know. that what we're. Alright, what do you say? Coffee and car seat? Yeah. Alright, let's do it. This is what they call a blue job. <laughs> All the way down. The other cool thing that I really like about this, yeah, is there's color indicators to let you know that it's secured. Are you serious? So this part turns green as soon as like it reaches its like applicable. Now it could still be installed wrong, but like, yeah. Oh, are we doing the, the seat buckle thing? Hey man, extra safety. All right, whatever you want, baby. <sighs> oh my gosh, her daughter's not going anywhere. <laughs> Oh my gosh, Bob. This thing is made of solid steel. <laughs> Nuna, if you're watching, great job. People, be careful, because this thing, when it comes up, it hurts. It hit him in the face when he, we were playing with it the other day. There, could I get a sausage, egg, and cheese McMuffin, please? Change of plans. Jack asked if there was anything we wanted to, like, grab while we were out. And one of the things that he wants to do this weekend is do the go bags, even though it's kind of hard. Like, for me, I was like waiting a little longer to do the hospital go bag situation because I'm like still wearing everything. Pajamas that I would probably have in there and stuff like that I'm still wearing. I guess just even like the um, having the checklist. Yes. In my mind. No, that makes a lot of sense. We'll pack what we can, Thank you. but we'll make a shared list 
on our phone, like a shared note, and we'll check everything off that we can put in a bag right now, but then everything that we would need to just grab and throw in that bag, if a time came, we would um, have this list and know all the unchecked items. We just go and like grab and just stuff in the bag and go. But part of that is like grabbing a few things that we just don't have that I have seen a lot of people like swear by, including the hospital tour lady that gave our tour. Mm, that's right. She also recommended, and I've seen this everywhere, is an extra long phone charger because there's just not a good outlet. As much as there's like all this machinery around you, like there's no outlet for like your personal like use. And so an extra long phone charger. And we just thought of Polaroid refills. Jack's Polaroid camera. We have Polaroids of literally like us at our embryo transfer, us finding out that we were pregnant, and like we know we'd need a Polaroid at the hospital. Thank you so much. We need um, fresh batteries for that too. Does it take specials? Special batteries? Uh, just double A. Oh, then we have those. Probably run in faster. Okay, it's whatever you want. I'll just do a small double single. Hazel are not uh, caramel and milk. Okay, small. So Is there anything else you want from here? Uh, no, I don't think so. Whatever you want. Okay. Thanks, baby. Originally, we were just gonna do coffee and car seat, but now I'm gonna go through, I've been saving so many TikToks for so long, like before pregnancy, of different categories. Like I have like folders on TikTok of like baby tips, maternity clothes, hospital bag, birth, like all of that stuff. So it's fun as we hit different stages to just open up those folders again. I did that especially for when we were making the registry. Uh, what did you get? Oh my gosh, my treat is McDonald's, this man. Oh my gosh, it's a pumpkin spice. Yep. Mmm, that is so good. Wait, before you go, I hate to do this. I need to, there's a lot of drinks. Thanks, darling. Need the extra holders. Uh, allow me to go into the backseat where our cars are doing. <laughs> oh, what's that, baby? Oh, did you just say a name? I wanna be free of this heart, yeah. I wanna feel your arms around me. Need you more, need you here more than I would like to admit. Let's forget about tomorrow. Yeah, should I hide away forever? Should I close my eyes and never again hold you tight, call you mine, think about you every time? I remember that it's over. Yeah. You never break, you never lie You never ever scared of the dark So why am I the one who cries? I'm so afraid to be left behind I think about you like Real quick haul before we get changed for the gym I've got fuzzy socks from Target for the go bag What do you got going on over here? Yeah, okay, so I'm gonna start with this Babies shampoo and body wash and lotion Got the unscented from Honest, happy about that. And snacks, big bars, biscuit, what are those almond biscuit bars? The almond butter biscuit bars. Almond butter biscuit, my go-to, those are my egg retrieval snacks, go-tos. Got true fruit dry fruit snacks, a couple of those actually to have. Gentlemen, she said six feet was enough, but we all know size matters. Oh my God. He got ten feet, ten, ten foot cable. Ten foot cable <laughs> for the hospital. Got some good other snacks. We got some tasty ones that are still like not super crazy sugary, <laughs> but they're still delicious, and yeah. I would want them. Jack the idea was like quick sugars and stuff for some energy. Yes. Little nibbles in case it's like super late and whatnot. And then something to suck on. <laughs> Where did you learn that? One of the YouTube videos I watched this morning. <laughs> Jack was watching Go Bag YouTube videos for husbands and their wives. That is it, my dear. For the hospital. It's this perfect. Is, this is trash. This is yeah. not for the Go Bag. Okay. <laughs> Hello, friends. It's Sunday now, and we had a couple other errands to run, including groceries. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm not eating that anymore. Jack is clearing out the fridge, and we just got back from groceries, as well as um, swinging by Home Goods TJ Maxx because we still had a gift card and it played into our hospital go bag situation and I wanted to check what they had there first before ordering some of that stuff on 
Amazon. So without further ado, let's do groceries first. I am currently 35 weeks and next Wednesday I'll turn 36. And that means it's time for dates. If you know, you know, the dates, the raspberry leaf tea, we're doing it all. And then we had on the list for TJ Maxx, three things that we were looking for, two of which were hospital bag related. This one was not. We got more of these pods, 10 for $3.99 for our Nespresso. One item that is hospital related, I settled on bringing a robe, except I'm not a robe girly yet. I was also not a Moo Moo girly until I put on my first Moo Moo this pregnancy. It's a long, long pajama -y dress. And this was on a lot of women's lists that I've been referencing of what they used in the hospital, what they didn't use in the hospital. And I can imagine why. It's just very easy to throw on, very easy to tie up, open as needed, etc. So to have this on hand, it's very fluffy, very, very soft. The other thing we got at TJ Maxx just now is a big blanket for Jack. We don't have a lot of blankets in the house. We have like comforters for our bed and stuff like that, which I'm sure we could bring, but it just felt a little excessive. The blankets we do have are just kind of thinner. They're not like to sleep under, you know, that type of thing. So we picked up one blanket to have in the house, but it's mainly for hospital. It's very fluffy. It's in the car because might as well just keep it in the car. It's a king, so he can fold it in half if he needs a little extra warmth. Today, I put baby's whites in before we left for our errands this morning. Morning, which are probably good actually, so I'll go switch those. My goal is to have her whites done today so I can maybe organize her clothes today, like actually roll them up, organize them in their little compartments in her dresser and stuff like that. And then also wrap our minds around the, the actual go bag bag itself and or list to reference. I interrupt this validity vlog with a very timely package, actually, literally. I think it was maybe a day after I was organizing clothes and realized that I should probably buy another pack of the like square organizers for the drawers that I received one in the mail and I realized it was from one of you all. And then after that, I've received a few more things. So let's just open these. I've been putting them aside, anything that I know I didn't order. And I'm just blown away. I'm absolutely blown away. I know we did a bigger haul, but they've been trickling in ever since and I'm just astonished. So a pre massive thank you to you guys. This stuff helps so much, but I just never want anyone to feel ever, 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 ever obligated to send us stuff, but just know it's so appreciated and I wanted to open it together today. Let's see, which, who is this one from? I opened it and I was like, no freaking way. Like she knew that I'd be doing this soon. I don't think they sent a note, but I know that this is from a woman, Betty. So thank you so much, Betty. Betty sent more organizers. They are gonna be so helpful. I needed a few more of like the smaller little squares, like this especially, and then the other ones are going to be used as well, just for like shampoo, toiletry, like literally anything. These going into the cube thing we have over there or the dresser you're sitting on here. So appreciated. Thank you so much, Betty. That's so nice. All right, this one is from a woman named Marcia. Marcia or Marsha sent these cute, <laughs> cutest things. I feel like I'm so far away from you guys. This little pack of toothbrushes, little, little toothbrushes, they're finger toothbrushes. So I put my finger in there and then it's to start brushing baby girl's teeth when she first starts getting in them. So like, oh my gosh, they're so sweet. The colors are adorable. Thank you so much. And then she also said this little toy I had on there for the holidays. Jack is cleaning the bathroom, by the way. That's what you guys hear in the background. But look, it's a Christmas ring. Oh my gosh, that's gonna be so sweet for her to have during Christmas time. Thank you so much, Marcia. Next up, we have a gift from Kate and Bridget. She says, we are so happy for you and Jack. We've been silently following your fertility journey and have had so many similarities in ours. We are due in February. Oh my goodness. Congrats and thanks for sharing. Thank you so much for your support. I so appreciate it. Kate and Bridget sent over the most adorable 
horrible. Okay, I found this brand recently. I obviously wouldn't know any of the really cute, cute, cute baby brands out there. So I'm a noob, obviously, but the brand Mushy, I first had their muslin bed sheets on my registry. And from there, like the gates were open. Everything they make and sell is adorable. <laughs> but this is one of their sleep sacks or sleep blankets. Look at that gorgeous color. Oh my gosh. She's going to be so freaking cute when she transitions into these. Thank you so much. I freaking love this thing. That's adorable. All right, this gift is from Letitia. They say, hello, Mac and Jack. I've been following your journey for a short time. And as a perinatal psychologist, I say you're a force of nature. I admire you through that. That is really, really sweet for you to say. Thank you so much. Much. Letitia sent over. The cutest thing, can you tell also a brand that I've been loving is Itsy Ritzy. Their toys are the cutest. And this one right here, you can just like play with in general, but it's a rattle that you can attach to their wrists so that they're like entertained as they move and stuff. It's so cute, look at the colors. Oh my gosh, I just know that she's going to love this. Thank you so much. Oh my gosh, this gift is also very timely. This gift is from Heather. Heather says, so excited for you both and baby girl, praying you'll have a safe, easy delivery and postpartum. That's so sweet. Thank you for the well wishes, Heather. And thank you so much for sending over the packing cubes that we had on our registry. That's so kind. So the idea behind these initially was that I didn't put a diaper bag specifically specifically on our registry because we have plenty of totes and stuff like that and I just wanted to see if those would work before buying like an exclusive bag just for the diaper bag, you know, but the totes aren't built obviously with compartments and diapery things in mind. There's a few little compartments on the side and stuff. But the idea was to use one of those and just get some packing cubes that came in various sizes on Amazon. And this pack comes with so many. I think it's on my storefront, which is always, or I try to always link it down below, but you've got packing cubes like this mesh one that holds like a ton of stuff. You've got a medium kind of sized one that zips up like this to a tiny little pouch that can hold like diaper paste. Like we are all set as far as what we would want for organizing our diaper bag, but then also these will come in handy for when Jack and I are packing up our hospital bag to organize different things into here. Thank you so much. You can tell I'm very into this right now. Okay, this last one I'm going to show you all. I, I'm excited about it, don't get me wrong, but you know who's especially excited about this is Jack. So I got the notification the other day that somebody had purchased something off the registry. And so when I looked and I saw that our drying rack that we had on our registry was coming our way, I knew how excited Jack would be. We have been literally talking about a drying rack probably since we moved into this apartment. I just have never pulled the trigger. We have always just gotten by with hanging clothes on the back of chairs or hanging clothes on the hangers and then on our like windows and stuff like that. And every time we're like, oh, we'll buy the drying rack. We just don't. And it's just, at that point, it's just a mental block. And Jack specifically has been pushing the drying rack. And so I was like, okay, I'll add it to the registry and then we'll get it before baby comes so that we can dry her clothes in a safe place. And so when we got this, I have to share the text exchange that happened between Jack and I. So just know that he is so excited. This is from a woman named Emily. Emily, thank you so much. You have made Jack's year probably. Probably. Congratulations on your miracle baby girl. I relate to a lot of your journey to get to this point. My own miracle baby girl is seven months old now. You have so many sweet moments coming your way. I am so grateful. Thank you so much. And thank you for such a kind note. Perfect. This is fantastic. This is gonna hold so many clothes. This is great. Thank you so much, Emily. And to everybody else who sent something that is just so kind and it just helps so much. Thank you guys so so much. So right now, literally 
everything in this room that the baby is going to touch that I can wash is washed. Blankets, covers to things, even the loveys. Last weekend we did the colors, this weekend we did the whites. And so all I've done is just toss in everything into their like month drawers. And although everything is like organized into drawers, it's not folded in like nicely organized besides some of the top drawer stuff. So that's this task. After this task, I feel like I will just know that all of her clothes are all set. They're all clean. So literally if she were to come tomorrow, we have literally everything cleaned, but it's just all in one big pile or like the piles are not organized <laughs> for sleepers or body suits, stuff like that. So I'd like to do that and also separate out the outfit type of things like things that I can hang since we did a huge closet switcheroo in the other vlog that you guys saw and now I have a closet bar for her in her closet so that will free up space in there as well and I don't have like cute hangers for things although I am tempted to make an Amazon order for like cute little pink hangers I'm just trying to resist because when we were checking out at I think it was Carter's when Nana brought her back to school shopping the other week they asked us if we wanted the hangers and we were like uh yeah so all my hangers are honestly from there and I think it might be enough so we shall see but anyway Let's get to folding, let's get to sorting. I think this will be very satisfying for my brain. I know it's nothing new, but it's so good to see you. We do this every day, and I'm still so amazed by you. So hold Between Sunday and yesterday, which was Monday, we went ham on the laundry because one, we, I don't know how we skipped laundry day last week, but it definitely added up. But then two, it allowed me to gather more of the go bag things so that they're clean, they're ready, I can pack them or put them in the car already. So feeling good about that. I don't know the best way to show you guys our hot, when we say go bag, it's the hospital bag. I don't know the best way to like show it of like what we're packing and what we have yet to pack because honestly there's a number of items of things that we are still like using in the house that we have just like on a list on our phone to grab and just put in there when it's time to go so it's not like a complete like yep everything is in here and we just have to grab it you know which I don't love but it is what it is so maybe I just show you guys what I've been able to pack so far and anything unchecked there are things that 
we're gonna grab before we head out. So first of all, I have a blanket, like I said, in the car for Jack that we got at Home Goods. And then I washed this blanket for me to have a blanket from home. And then I want a blanket for her car seat to snuggle her in there when we're taking her home. So this will just sit. Both of these will just kind of sit in the car with Jack's blanket. So the blankets are covered. And then most of the stuff so far, I've been able to fit in these magical packing cubes. What do we have? This is baby's packing cube. And in baby's packing cube, I have one swaddle from home. And then we have one going home outfit in newborn size and one going home outfit in zero to three size. And the same with onesies. I have one onesie that's a newborn and one that is a zero to three. And the socks slash mittens have to do with like, oh, and the hat. And I have a little newborn hat have to do with her going home outfit. And that's all we packed for that. In this packing cube, I've got postpartum slash like breastfeeding stuff. I have some nursing pads in here. I've got the silverettes in here. And I also have nipple butter and heating cooling breast pads in here. I actually ordered some always discreet underwear, like those Depends type of things, as well as the Freedom Mom underwear, just a pack of each. And if I don't use these things, in the hospital, I'll use them obviously like when we're home. So I was already gonna get them anyway. In this packing cube, I've got portable white noise machine and the fan, gonna be her stroller fan, but people say they love having a fan for themselves for labor in the hospital. And our 10 foot long iPhone cable. And then honestly, I was most impressed that all of my clothes fit in this single cube. And it's not a ton of clothes, it's just kind of bulkier stuff. So I've got my winter muumuu that you guys have seen. It's the free people one that I know and love. It probably will not be staying in here though because it is my number one go-to pajamas for pregnancy as well as just winter fall in general. So we'll probably need to wash that a few times before we just like grab it and put it back in here. I have a going home outfit. It's like a little sweater set situation, but I do have my eye on a like long sweatshirt, comfy looking thing from Free People for the going home outfit. So I might buy that for myself as a little birth gift to have as a going home outfit. And then I also have a couple nursing bras, just like comfy bralettes, some fuzzy socks and the bathrobe that I got. And that all fits in here and I'm so excited about it. So, so far, these are the packing cubes and they all so far fit in here, which I'm happy about. And then I'm probably just gonna take another smaller tote and in that smaller tote will include my toiletries and my electronics. So whether that's chargers that I'm still using, you know, day to day. I also know I'm gonna take my iPad, not my full on computer, but just my iPad in case there's waiting around, we wanna watch shows, etc., etc. And that bag will also have camera, backup batteries, the charger, extra cards, things like that. I'm also planning on bringing my own pillow for after birth situation. I just feel a lot more comfortable when I have my own pillow. And then besides like pillow and blanket, Jack has a list of things that he's gonna grab for himself as far as clothes go and what he'll want in the hospital. And we're also going to bring our own shower towels because I just don't hear that the hospital ones are super great and having our own towel will be really comfy. And then besides those things, we have the snack bag that that we will grab before. We'll make sure we have our wallets and a full set of keys to get in the car and also get back in our apartment. <laughs> Those are things that we have jotted down on the list. Now I am not necessarily for mom shaming first time moms and what they bring in their hospital bag. So we are not gonna do that today, but I will definitely let you guys know what we end up using and what we end up absolutely not using when it comes time for the hospital, because those are the types of videos that were super helpful when I was deciding what was gonna go in our hospital bag. But I will say if there is a holy grail item that you took to the hospital that you were like this, I was so happy to have this, leave it in the comments below. It's almost like the same question I asked about the registry items. Like if you guys could choose one registry item that you were like are so grateful that you registered for type of thing. But anyways, my friends, that is going to be it for today's vlog. I hope you all enjoyed it. Can you tell I'm so out of breath just from talking now? <laughs> 
haven't hit the subscribe button, make sure to do so down below because I upload videos like these every single week. Everybody do not forget to give this video a big old thumbs up. All my socials are linked below in case you want to follow me over on those and I will catch you in the next one, my friends. We'll see you later. Bye.